What's up, everybody? Kevin Bowen here, recap and day two of the draft. Colts make three picks. Michael Pittman, wide out of USC. Jonathan Taylor trading up for the running back out of Wisconsin. And then defensive back Julian Blackman from Utah. Uh, recapping what Chris Boward had to say, going back to day one, he was adamant that they were not interested in trading into the back half of round one for a quarterback. He made that very, very clear. Uh, I'm not going to force that position, he reiterated. Uh, in the wee hours, I guess, of, uh, of Saturday morning, uh, talking about that position. As far as Michael Pittman, he looks at that guy um, as a guy that can win in all three levels. Some trade offers at number 34 for the Colts, nothing that blew them away. Um, Pittman, clearly someone they identified. And I think when T. Higgins went at 33, that probably um, maybe didn't force Pittman at 34, but I think just was like, all right, we, you know, Higgins is gone. If you lose Pittman, then all of a sudden um, some of the big body wideouts that you might like are gone there. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, that, that trade up, he was in the cluster of six to seven guys they liked at 34. Um, when he got to 36, 37, he was still on the board. That's when they decided, all right, we, we want to move back up for a really unique talent. Jim Irsay actually said to Chris Ballard, you've been talking about him nonstop. Why don't you go ahead and move up? They only moved up three spots. They lost a fifth-round pick, got that back in the third round when they traded back, took Julian Blackman out of Utah, tore his ACL in December in the Pac-12 championship game. Um, probably won't be ready until late August, early September for practice, it sounds like. And then game action, maybe not till October. So you could be looking at a bit of a red shirt ish type season for him. They feel like he's a very rangy, safety, versatile guy um, that can play corner as well. Um, what else? Felt like it was a smooth draft from a logistical standpoint. And uh, now the Colts head into day three, four picks, round four, round five. And uh, two again in round six after trading with the Lions. 107.5thefan.com has all of your draft coverage. Podcast coming uh, late Sunday as well. Recapping a draft here for the 2020 Colts. See you.